YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines and we're back with a Luminar AI video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how Luminar AI, the artificial intelligence based photo editing software can do some really intricate stuff with just the push of a couple sliders and different things like that. Today we're going to be talking about templates. Not only how templates work within Luminar AI, but how you can customize them and then save to your liking. So stay tuned and let's get to editing. So let's play a bit with some templates. Uh, I will pick a photo out where there is a face and a bit of stuff happening in the back. I will take the photo here of Melijad. Let's open up this photo. There it is. Now, what happens with templates is that Luminar AI analyzes a photo and it goes for what it thinks makes the most sense in that photo. And if you want to see how much analysis is happening and how it is highlighted, probably the best way to see the functionality. If anyone downloads this software just to look at the trial version, where you're going to see all the AI happening is in templates. What are templates? Templates are just a series of adjustments that get you to an analyzed goal. So the the software analyzes the photo, says, well, this is a person, they're looking into the camera, uh, there's a background, there's a horizon, here's what I suggest should be done. And the templates are a whole bunch of editing decisions. Well, a lot of times we call, used to call that an edit decision list, an AEDL. So the template is basically a series of decisions made by the software to get to a certain goal. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go into templates right now. If I click on templates right here, you see your photo on the side here. You have a couple of different things. You have essentials, which are all the different templates that already exist already a bunch of solutions that have been made by award-winning photographers to come out with the best image possible for certain things. And at the bottom here, you also have some choices if you want to play. But what's really fun is up here, what's called uh, For This Photo. And For This Photo is going to decide and give you a list of different things that it thinks might be best for your photo. Now, if I go here, let's say I pick, you have Experimental, Monochrome, and Easy Portraits. If I click on this, underneath you're going to have all these different types of monochrome solutions that pop out here. Let's go Elegant Matte, Soulful, Film Grain. That's really cool. That really is great film grain. Wow. Lighthouse. Low Key. So different things will affect and different types of ways to edit this photo will already be suggested. Let's go back to templates for this photo. Let's go over to easy portraits. I'm going to play with that because this is a portrait, someone looking right into the lens. Let's go for tack sharp. Let's look at that. That's really nice. Fade right here. Fade brings in a little bit of a, a haze within the photo. Vignette. Low key. Really, really nice. High key brightens everything out. What I'm going to do right now is probably go, I'll go for tack sharp. So let's look at what it's done here. Now, the easiest way to see what it's done in a template is to just go into edit. When you go into edit, you'll see little dots on the different tabs that you have. So in creative, it didn't affect the sky. Augmented sky didn't touch any of these. But if you go into portrait right here, Face AI, something has been affected because there's a little dot on the side. Skin AI has been affected. If you go into Pro, there's different stuff. Super Contrast has been affected. A color Harmony. Wherever you see a dot, the template has gone in there and edited. What's really cool is that you can go back into what the software has already suggested and play with that and personalize it to your liking. It is very important that I tell you guys that that is really cool because the actual analysis and sitting back and looking at your photo and saying, this is what I want to do. I want to do this and that, you know, it's, it's, you don't have to do that anymore. You can go and just take it away from where the software left off. So you're basically, you got a photographic assistant at the computer, but there's no assistant there. It's just the machine itself doing the job. So let's go into face AI right now and let's push up some light here. 
Okay, and let's. Many jads a bit slimmer than that, so I'm going to slim her face down a tiny bit. If you want to know uh, how long it takes to process, make sure you look right up here. This little thing right here, the logo of Luminar AI, will be processing, and you'll see a bit of a a little uh, pan going across it, a little light. Okay, let's go into Skin AI. Now there's a bit of Skin AI that's been brought in to soften the skin, just to show you before and after. This is before. This is after. You can see where the skin has been affected. We can go pull that up a tiny bit because I like to get smooth. When the model is young, I try to get the most smooth and natural effect in. Let's look at her skin there. Wow, that's really cool. That's really well done. Really, really nice. Okay, let's pull that out. Go like this, face AI, body AI. There's not much we can shape here on Body AI. I have another video on Body AI. You guys can check it out. I will leave a link in the description. Now, I really like what the software has done with this shot. I love the brownish look. Melijad, she always gets teased that she's like a Native American or something like that, but she is not. She's just French Canadian. Now, let's go into over here into Essentials. Let's look at what it has done with light. It has played with the temperature. Uh, I'm going to bring this and make it a tad colder so we get more contrast with the back. I like what it's done with tint, exposure. I'll bring it up just a tad because I will be posting it on Instagram. Smart contrast. It's done a great job, so I'm going to leave all of that there. Let's go into Enhance AI, Accent AI. Now, it depending on what you enjoy, I really sort of like not like accent ai but i do like what it's done on this picture structure ai same thing it's sort of like a an hdr sort of feel to the photo if you pull that down you're going to get a more hazy look to your photo if you pull it up it's going to be more contrasty let's look at that as it shows me the image now i really like melijad's eyes but i'd like to make them pop out just a tiny bit more uh, everything in here is fine for me in essentials. I'm going to go back to portrait, go back to a face. These are different things that have been played with in within already. But what I'm going to do is I am not going to enlarge eyes. That's I just want to show you guys what really enlarge eyes does. You can do this. It's a bit crazy. But what I will play with is eye enhancer. And I'm going to push that up a tiny bit really really cool i really like what that's doing brown eyes always have that problem is that you, it's hard to see the details in very very dark brown eyes eye enhancer seems to be able to find that and do what it has to do now here let me look at what i got i really like it i wouldn't touch it very much more the only thing i might do is go into here and go back to composition and crop it in i'm going to crop it in at a ratio of four or five and I'm gonna bring it in just more towards her face just because there you go and I think we're gonna go for that right there there we go applying there you go so that's my image I like what I see and I like what is there so at the bottom here you're gonna see a thing that says tack sharp edited meaning it took the template tack sharp edited it and made it what it is now with three dots on the side here you can go save and it will save that as one of your templates so you will have that template to be able to use later on isn't that cool so what is really cool about luminar is that it takes all the legwork out of getting a shot that is optimized and then after that you can make it even better by just playing with the creative side of the software. You guys, I hope you liked, share, subscribe, and don't forget everybody, keep on making something from nothing.